Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I am here on the Imper or on the Geek Tech Industry server, uh, Alpha Seven. Uh, I have no clue what episode this is. Seriously, I didn't even. Um, wow, that's horrible. Um, yeah, well we're here on Akua's moon and as you can see in front of me there is a pentaxid meteorite and I had just found one earlier too and mined it out with the HV um, and it said that there was another watch out for meteorites so I kind of flew around with the SV again and here I found it and it's just out of reach of that outpost over there, or not outpost, but whatever that is. And I'm thinking, so I'm thinking today we're going to, we're going to take that Pentaxid and we're going to take that base over there. Um, now, not in any particular order. I'm thinking if I take out the base, I can come back with the HV and scoop that up really quick. So, yeah. Let's put a marker here. Because they don't actually show up on you, stay on your map. Meteorites don't actually stay on your map when you get too far away from them, they disappear. So, if I put a marker there, now. I can actually find it again. So, let's see what this thing is. Very curious. I have 1,500 missiles on me, and 6,400 bullets. So we'll uh, see what this thing has. I I think we'll take out whatever turrets it's got. And so that's a power station. Okay. Interesting. Um, did I already take this out? No, it should have regenerated by now, so we'll have to be careful here. Uh, what am my range? It's within my range. Okay. Where's the turrets? I don't see any turrets. Normally they're like, right? station not have turrets? Um, maybe? Yeah, I do not see any turrets. Isn't that interesting? Huh, okay. Um, trust it. Let's find the door. Let's find the door. Let's find the door here. That looks like the door. Get in a little closer, see if there's... Should I knock? I knock? God, it doesn't even look like there's a door on it. Oh, those look like turrets, though. Are they not active? Is this thing bugged out? I... Aren't those turrets? Don't those look like turrets? And they blow up like turrets. Oh yeah, they're turrets. Oh, they're angry at me now. Okay. 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 And that's why I get in close with a vehicle first instead of jumping out of it. Okay, so it does have some defenses. It's just got the uh, piddly little... Um, well, not piddly if you're 
in body armor, let me tell you, those things will do lots of damage. So let's just take them out. And there's got to be more around, right? So I don't want to get shot when I jump out. Let's see if we can see any more. that was the door over there. I guess that was the door. Oh. Okay. Uh, is there any more traps? Let's see. Do I see any spawners up there? <laughs> no, there's uh, there's some loot containers. Okay, well, here's the door. Let's see if we can shoot it out. Yep. We'll see if dudes come out. Hey guys, come on out. No, no, not gonna come out. of a depression so I can't actually see if there's any spawners or dudes there. Uh, well, this is more of a job for my HV at this point since there's no more external stuff. My HV is much better capable of defending itself and multi-tooling this thing down after, right? So, okay, let's go get my um, HV, because we're going to want to mine out that, that pentaxin anyway, so. Uh, where are we here? <coughs> Left my CV back there, way over there, okay. Okay. Let's head back there some night vision on temporarily whoa very temporarily <coughs> so I was like completely on the opposite side of the planet great lovely so you can see there is still quite a bit of cobalt available and stuff right now I I I have a lot of cobalt, and I don't really need the cobalt. Oof, look at that iron deposit, 12,300. <coughs> and that's the drone base over there. So I don't want to get too close to that. Right? Isn't that the Oh no, that's not the drone base. The drone base is uh, somewhere else. It's not there though, that's not it. I don't think that's the drone base, that's like... 
It's like uh, one of those defense towers or something. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll go get the hover box. Usually I don't sit my ship in front of a POI uh, just for the fact that a drone can come by and, and flukely get a pot, you know, destroy something on it and, and then all of a sudden you have a bad day, so I usually just take my HV out after, after the SV disables the POI. And especially now with that multi-tool turret, I mean, yeah, it's it's made for cleaning up POIs, right? So let's just park here. Well, uh, whoa. hey, nope, 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 come back here. There we go. Okay. And we'll just go like this. And I'm not going to fit between my turrets am I maybe let's see it's it's hard to tell when you're when you're high up in the air so we'll do it like this and we'll come down and I should be able to be might clip into there clip into them a little bit no nah it's fine good enough okay let's grab our stuff out of here I think I only put um Stuff in the fridge, yeah. Okay. Now, I guess we'll have to see what the what the uh, HV has for ammo. So we'll have to go check that. Come okay. on. Feeling it, it'll only go straight down the slope on its own. Okay. Um, hopefully, it's got enough ammo, then I don't have to steal it out of the SV. And 4,100 bullets, that's enough. That's plenty. Yeah, I think we're good to go in here. We'll just jump in and go. You can see the lasers on the front, the freaking lasers. Love it, love it. And there's the multi-tool turret. Woo! I already showed that off. I'm just all excited about it still. It's a new toy. Let's go. And we'll put our canned vegetables away. Normally I don't worry so much, but why not? I'm on the moon. I'm not necessarily heading back home instantly so you know I got no other way of making food okay so let's get out of here turn our oh they're on okay so the CV should defend itself enough uh, against another player could have a tough time but Okay, so we'll head towards the Pentaxid because that's where the um, POI was. It is literally on the other side of the planet. I almost should have flown the, the CV over there first. Oh well, you get to see how how the uh, hover box handles. There's that POI over there. We'll just uh, go up into the hills here. Oops. That's okay. That's okay. When we get 
back home and spawn the CV. After I spawn the CV, I'm going to be spawning the heavy drill. So there's a lot more indentations and depressions on the moon than there used to be. Or, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it hasn't changed, but it just seems that way. It's more bumpy. I don't know. Maybe not. Whoa. As I get pitched over to the side. It just seems like there's bigger craters and stuff, and it's it's not as smooth on the HV as it used to be. side of the so let's I don't want to turn the turrets off just in case um, drones come so let's just change this so if we do if we got rid of mounted weapon thruster and turret alien should be regular drone now I don't think it'll hit large drones, but if we do mounted weapon, let's try that. So we'll get rid of turret and thruster. Because I think sentry turrets are considered turrets, I'm not sure. And mounted weapon I think is what the large drones have. We'll try this. Let's see. No, nope, they're still gonna shoot. Okay, so what are they shooting at? Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> no? That was kind of weird. Not really sure. us there, but uh, it seems to be not shooting now, so obviously it would have been, there's sentry guns on the inside still that are active. Okay. Oh, what's that? Is that a dude right there? It's like a, a backpack or, or a, a container of some sort. So, if I... Go like this, my turret should be able to see in there, right? So let's shrink down. That one's not it. 
so... Let's try this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Come on. You gonna come at me? Well, this turret can actually shoot at anyone inside, so perfect. Okay. So that is excellent. So that should shoot at dudes. So we've got 65 minutes left. Okay. And we're at minus 41. We can handle that temperature. And if need be, I can I can jump back in the HV and warm up. So let's do this. Switch to I've got a lot of band-aids and stuff. Switch to minigun for, for right now. Let's go check this place out. At least no critters are going to get me out here, right? Oh, there's a spawner right there. So, why didn't that spawn anyone? What's in this? Oh, so it's a... Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> I see you! Let's get up here. Nope, oh, come on. Let's just get up. No! And, oh! does a minigun need reloading? God damn. Okay. <laughs> Guess I should pay more attention to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's in here? Okay. I'll take it. So... Where do those doors go to? Looks like traps. jump out at me? No? Okay. Well, we got more fuel? Yeah, I'll take it. Now, should I, like, open this? I don't hear any dudes. Hmm. I'm not... It's making me nervous. I'm thinking it's gonna lock me in, so let's go like this. And kill it. There we go. Okay, back to minigun. And we gotta be we gotta run away from the shotgun dudes and pick them off at range. So if we see shotgun dudes, we run. We just we just we just freaking run. Oh, I saw that at the last second. Okay. So let's sneak out and come on. Can we just sneak out? Okay. Spawners? No? Okay. So... Another door? And... What's that? Oh, did I kill something in there? Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, we 
got another patch. Oh, come on. Give me that one. Okay, so let's not get shot by anything. other factions so let's do this switch. I got stuck on the switch. Well, I know that, I mean, the, the defenses are working because the turrets are shooting at me. I'm just not sure why the stuff's not spawning. And there's the core. that spawned. What does this do? Oh, crap! Huh. Well, that's evil. That's really evil. Let's, um... I wonder if I can kill this thing with, with like my minigun because I don't have any explosives on me, do I? No. Crap. Okay. Let's see. Let's see a bunch of rounds in there. See, I can actually see it a little bit right there. So let's go like this. And no, I didn't want to move. Okay, but if I, I get the yellow thing on it, too, right? So let's. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Yeah! <laughs> I don't cheat. I just exploit. Okay. Um, yeah, all your defenses are just gone now, aren't they? Sorry. Sorry. I'll just take all your stuff. I'll just take all your stuff. Uh, you know what? I might as well just start zapping stuff. Let's uh, disassemble. Now, the reason I do disassemble is because I want a chance of getting back a whole block. The reason being, it, uh, it's worth more in the factory as a whole block. 
So I don't see, there's no guys now. <laughs> Look at that, it was a total trap room. I'll just, some wood planks, really. There we go, furnishings deco. Did I get, no, nope, but it's, it's worse stuff. Hard steel plate. So this is a, this is um, a combat POI because you're getting, I'm getting hardened stuff from it. So let's take the oxygen. Uh, 1400 is the best we're gonna get. We, we won't be able to get that 61. It has to be at even 200 doses, so we'll just uh, zap that now. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff. And then we'll go for the fuel here. Yeah, nice, nice. 1470. Let's see how much of that. So good, we're getting we're getting a big chunk of fuel there. Okay. So let's keep going after all this stuff here. And we'll just pick it up. Oh nice, we taxid. Okay, good. Good. Just keep, keep zapping everything here. Now wasn't there like stairs up or something? No? Oh yeah, there's the elevator there. Okay. So let's get all this stuff here. And oh, I can't fix it up. Okay, so let's put some more stuff in my factory. Well, my HV is really loud, isn't it? Okay, so put that in. Nope. Yep. Oh, oh, that, uh, I didn't need Okay, so I'll keep those. <laughs> I just put, I didn't want to put explosive devices in my ship, doesn't it sound like I kind of just rigged it to explode? <sighs> Bloody hell. What did it give me back for that Prometheum ore and some, <laughs> some iron steel plates or something, I don't know. Ah, didn't want to use those, well I got explosive devices on me. <sighs> okay. Let's um stop derping and do this. Okay. So might as well take that too. Let's see what was upstairs. Ooh, it's really dark. Oh, here's a door. And nothing spawned up here. Okay. Oh, nice. Wait, really? Spoiled food? So you, what, you had like, you had food. In a rare, con food? Well, auto, the auto miner's okay, but. Wow, that was kind of sucky, really. That's a little better. Uh, what can we do? We'll put put the stuff in here. Okay. Pick the rest of this up. Okay. Wow. down there. Is that a red container? That is. And nice. Okay, that's better. Let's get that. And, oh, I can't carry anymore, so let's go like this. And put that in there. Put that in there. And that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, I got, that's why I had explosive devices, because I shot the core, I completed my quest. Derp a derp. Okay, what can we get here? We're missing two things, so, but I can just put that into, yeah, I'm not going to use that. Oh, I like the laser gun. Damage 100. And I think I can pump that up to a T2 laser pistol. So, let's hang on to that. 
Uh, I've got a couple miniguns now. I could probably turf one, so let's do this. Put this in here. So this pulse laser, let's see. What does it give us? We're at 1494 Zascosium. And, okay, that just went up to 1584. So, uh, 90 Zascosium and 90 Arrestrium. Nice. Okay. Get one of these that gives us enough space so that we can go like this and grab these and SV plasma turret HV. Eh, don't want it, so you know what? We'll just blueprint those too. There we go. And that was worth the restroom Saskosium also. So cool. Cool. Just from looting, well, no, I did throw a stack of each in, didn't I? So, we've got 600 of each from looting, so that's not bad. Not bad, we're almost halfway in the Neo. We're way over half on the Iron. And we're just shy of, like, I don't know, 50, I guess we're about 15% of the, uh, not quite, yeah. 15, 17% of uh, what we need for the south. So, I think, is that it for this place? Okay, I think that's it for loot for this place. So let's head down. And if I miss stuff, miss stuff when I zap it it should drop stuff right oh inventory full right oh cobalt alloy oh god yeah so what did I just pick up yeah that can go in there that can go in there okay yeah we'll get that cobalt alloy though okay so Instead of me standing out here wasting my suit's oxygen and feebly trying to jump into the cockpit of my HV, okay, we'll just get in it, and I think we'll we'll raise up a little bit here and just back up so that we're on a, a pretty good angle and lower down. And, okay, that's really loud. I'm going to turn off the engines. There we go. <laughs> okay. We can hear. And let's go into the multi-turret. And, oh. Um, there we go. <laughs> and let's go into, yeah. At least we can see. So, oh, I can't quite reach up there. Well, let's just zap. <laughs> It's so fast! It's so fast. Okay, so let's disassemble, try and get some full blocks. They're worth more. So this is just super fast and awesome. In the luxury of my HP. So I'm just going to turn my lights off completely. Come on. Oops. So this will be good for Sathium for the uh, the hardened steel plates will give me a bunch of Sathium and iron. But also the parts themselves reduce the spawn time of the uh, of the blueprint. So it's always good to, to multi-tool down POIs and throw them in your factory. It makes building stuff so much faster and easier. I know there's some YouTubers and stuff that that object to 
multi-tooling down and building everything with the stuff that you multi-tooled. And, I mean, personally at this point, they've mitigated a lot of that by, by reducing your overall returns by quite a bit. So, I don't know. I, I see it as part of a, I like the game mechanic, personally. I like being able to take enemy bases and turning them into something. So there's stuff falling on the ground over there. I'm contemplating if I should. Yes, I should. I should, absolutely. What do you mean? Oh, right. Okay, I won't be able to uh, do that anyway. Let's just go grab these. And, yeah, power, of course, I'll take it. And Pentaxa, yep, yeah, of course, yep. Yeah. So you can see if you zap containers, the stuff doesn't get zapped. It it hangs around in those in their little bags until they despawn. Uh, but they do have a fairly quick despawn timer, so you got to be aware of that. Let's get back in here, and we'll um, raise this up a little bit. So let's turn the engines back on. Okay, we'll just sink down. And, no, let's get a little closer. Okay, now we'll sink down. And, let's turn the engines off anyway. Let's, does it insert eh, a minute? Whatever. Okay, let's get into our multi turret again. Actually, let's go into my go into the constructor really quick and just oh I have stuff in there still a little loot okay there we go we'll throw some more loot in there it's not really a place to throw this kind of stuff but that's all construction tape stuff well the weapons can be upgraded so although I don't think they can in this one can they maybe yeah, some not those ones. Anyway, okay, let's just get this stuff put away then. Let's um, cargo box it. Okay. Now we'll have a quick little bite to eat. <laughs> okay. And... <clears throat> So let's jump into the multi turret again. And zap this thing. Oh, I can almost. That's okay. I don't care if I destroy a couple of blocks. Whatever. I think I can get to everything else now, so that's okay. I really like how fast this multi-tool turret is. It's too bad it doesn't aim down a little better, but that's okay. You just gotta you just gotta do it strategically. It's not that bad. And oh yeah, you can't zap your own ship anymore by accident. They, that was one of the upgrades from today, so that's fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. So I will be, I'll, I'll leave a little bit of the this behind so it regens for other people. Because I'm not sure if it'll regen if I remove every single block. I don't think it will, because I, I think it just disappears completely if I do that. And never, and never comes back. So I want to leave some of it. So that's still part of the, I think it still has to be in a registered POI or whatever, you know, like a, like an actual thing. And as soon as you zap all the blocks away, it, it loses that, it goes away. So, but we're going to take most of them. 
my factory is thirsty and it can drink real deep. So I like the range on this too, eh? So, I'm, so I, it's great for this. This is actually this tool that they developed, I think is for the multiplayer side more. Oh my God, okay, so let's turn that off. <laughs> As I revealed the sun as it came up, it um, got a little bright there. Now, did I loot that? Oh no, see, I didn't. Okay. Let's uh, get out and loot that. So, where's the. Oh, I have no way of getting up there, do I? Or, yes, I do. Let's go like this. Come on. Really? Although, you know what? I can just, I can just zap the thing underneath it and it'll fall on me, right? 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, nice! Enhanced pistol. Okay. Okay, let's get back in the HV. <clears throat> Trying to build stairs. Derp and derp. Okay. Uh, I need to get a little closer, so let's turn these back on. We'll keep it raised up for right now because I want to reach the higher areas quickly here. So let's try. This is great. This is such a score. Oh. Actually, I better make sure that my cargo box isn't getting too full. It's not bad, so you can see it is getting some blocks. So that's going to help quite a bit. You know what? Actually, let's, uh, let's go like this and dump all that in the factory. Oh, that was a big, huge chunk. And, wow, we're getting right up there. On iron. Let's bring that stuff in. We'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's, oh, I didn't have to do that. I could have uh, went into here and just... Dump the stuff in here. Oh, I'll just put... Yeah, that's fine. Wow, this really makes... POI teardown so much easier, especially on regen bases like this. Oh, there we go. Come on, give me something good. Come on, generators. No, I didn't get a full generator. Damn. We're done. This thing just eats through the, uh... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Did I miss some stuff? I did. Look at that. Hidden containers. With... Oh, score! 
huge score because that is lots of a restroom zascosium in those and yeah another big score so wow nice bunch of auto minor cores okay pulse laser rail gun plasma cannon huh laser rifle cells okay so I think I'll put those into the factory right now because those are worth a lot so let's see the railgun we're at <clears throat> we're at uh, 1616 arrestrium and that put another 55 65 65 and then 1681 whoa 1861 so that was a big jump that was like 100 150 140 140 wow okay so yeah we're almost halfway to the arrestroom zascosium now i do have all that at home so it's not that big of a deal but we are reducing the uh, total production to home quite a bit and we've got a good chunk of the sathium in there now so we're not going to have to use a lot of ingots but uh, we will end up using ingots because as soon as we do this and I get the uh, meteorite over there I'm going to be um, going home and spawning this SV so let's keep going now do you think there's these on the other side then go on let me up No? Okay, let's do it in the HV, it's much quicker. <laughs> much quicker. Okay. much quicker and my HV can hold more. Okay, so let's do this, that, that, that. Yeah, we're getting there in the iron, that's for sure. And now we're almost halfway to the Neo. That's good. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. Okay, let's get a little closer. And we'll zap that stuff over there. hoping to uh, pick up a full generator because I think those were T1 large T1s Yeah, this, this multi-tool turret is faster than the T2 um, multi-tool. Because it, it only single, it only needs to, to hit once on a, on a combat steel block. See? Boom. It, it's, it one-shots everything. So I'm thinking, I, I, I'm not sure what the energy cost per zap is, as opposed to, um, I don't know what the cost, if it's more cost effective or less cost effective, but it's definitely quicker. So, you know, time is money. And see, that was a good thing that I didn't zap my own ship because 
until if it could there. That was harsh. Sometimes the server skips a bit and your turrets can be completely somewhere where they shouldn't be. And I'm just out of range there. Okay. okay. Well, I think that's good enough. We'll let that, we'll leave that for, um, for it to regen. There's no blocks anymore, or there's no, uh, there's no loot left. No, it's just, it's just blocks. So, okay, let's go get the Pataxid. And you'll see how quick this thing eats up Pentaxid or meteorites. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's check what we got on us. So, oh, you know what, we can take that and just keep dumping it in here really quick. So, da, 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 okay, nice, 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 we're getting there. out the iron. These are good numbers. I like these numbers. Without really putting much in the way of ingots in yet. Okay, so let's chew this up. So I'm just going to... It's a little unstable. I'm just going to lower it down. Set it flat, hold the button, kind of easy mode drilling. You can see the Pataxid just flying in. That's like Uber. It's a good chance I might never have to get Pataxid again after this. Until the next wipe. Which I don't really plan on till Alpha 8. Yeah, this is really awesome. So keep in mind, folks, this is the multiplayer default settings that I have running on all the multiplayer default play fields. So Akua Moon will, will have Pataxid meteorites if you dig up all the Pataxid on it. Because it's they fall on a couple of them. This is my second one now, so... There we go. Okay. So, let's take a look and see what we got. And 449. That's great. That's 900 refined pentaxid. Along with whatever we got now. That gives us a couple of thousand refined pentaxid, potentially. You know what? I think we're done here. I think we're done here. We... Let's check our... 
Um, hang on. I just want to turn the... It's so loud. I don't want to talk over my engines. Okay. So let's check out our PDA and see what we've completed now. Um, now, I could not find the Titan wreck on Akua, so I think we're just going to have to, if we have a find, if we, maybe we'll find the Titan wreck on another planet and that could count. If we ever do find it, we'll go back to this and activate it. Uh, but at this point, I cannot complete this one quest, the custom tours. Um, gives me a T2 pistol and 30 gold coins and some bullets. Meh. Uh, Dangerous Space is going to give a bunch of refined attacks. 40 gold. But that one should be fairly easy to do. I mean, we just got to fly past those trading stations. Uh, what is Private Matters? Private Matters is Conquer Alien. So, Epsilon Base Akua. Oh. Uh, conquer an Epsilon Base on Akua by destroying the core. Notice you must use projectile weapons to destroy the core. You cannot use explosives. Rocket launcher explosive device. What? So, if you destroy the core accidentally, you can't you won't get the quest okay and then elemental space race oh right this is the new one the esr mission out of oscatoon at the stargate and we had found that we saw that so we can go back there and try this you only have seven minutes okay so so there is a and ooh, it gives ten thousand credits enhanced laser rifle t2 wow uh, 50 pentaxid, so that's some good re rewards for that. Uh, but that's Oscar Tune, and I think we need to head back home, spawn our big CV, spawn our our beefier HV, and go back to Omicron and start doing the Omicron stuff. Uh, we can, s I guess we could, well, we're here. I mean, I kind of do need to do, this, Epsilon Base Akua. Huh. I kind of do need to do that. Maybe we'll do that. So maybe, okay. We won't head back yet. We'll go do that. But we've got, I don't think we need to come back to the moon again anymore. So let's head back to the CV. And we'll fly to Akua and take on that. Um, where's my CV? Where's my CV? Make a marker for the tin can. And where are you, tin can? Okay. Well, I guess I can get rid of that pentaxid. One. Okay. Okay. Nice. Well, guys, uh, I'm just going to head back to the CV, and I'll take the CV back to Akua um, and scope it out for an Epsilon base. I think that's any one of the shooty bases. Anything that shoots on Akua, I think, is an Epsilon base. I think so. We'll see. And so I'll sky it out for, for a shooty base. And we'll take that on next time, and um, and be done with Akua for the most part. Unless you know, um, I can't I can't find the Titan. So maybe if I find the Titan, that'll that'll be awesome too. But I I flew all around Akua and I could not find the Titan. So I'm thinking one of the players um, multi-tooled them down to nothing. 
that kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why on starter planets it's a good idea to wipe them every two weeks or every month or something. Or if it's a really, really busy server, maybe once a week. Yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on players that are starting on your server to, to get off planet quick. But, um, but if you don't, you run into problems where people can't do stuff like complete quests and like which I might not be able to do now unless I actually wipe that play field and and uh, and go back there but if I do that all the players that have their bases there get wiped too so I'll, I'll probably have to put it in a notice warning them that I'm gonna wipe it oh Let's see if we can see where that falls. That'll be another pentaxid. Although I don't really need it, but we know another one just fell. Another pentaxid meteorite just fell somewhere. But we're not going to go find it. We'll leave that for other people. I don't need to be super greedy. I got a couple thousand now. I, I, I doubt. I doubt I'm going to run out anytime soon, and I. I can come back here if I need to. Okay, guys. You can see I'm back safely at the CV. And I'm going to take this back to Akua. And uh, next episode, we will smash another PY. So, uh, and multi-tool it down too and add that to the, the factory. And get more of the uh, PDA quests done. So... If you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, until next time, guys, you guys have an awesome day.